Hey guys, John and Jeff here with Best Price Nutrition. You can visit the website at bestpricenutrition.com. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about five reasons you shouldn't take pro hormones. Well, we shouldn't take you shouldn't pro hormones. Don't we sell them? We do. <laughs> I don't know why we're talking about this, but uh, but yes, yes. Today's video is why you shouldn't take pro hormones, and we're going to cover a few use cases of people that shouldn't, because mm -hmm. we well, all talk to them. Whenever we tell people they shouldn't, they insist on taking. Anyway. Yes, so maybe this is our <laughs> reverse, uh, you know, uh, psychology here to get you to take them. But uh, I mean, you were on a phone call for like an hour today talking yeah. to somebody. So, so there are, you know, we don't always recommend people take pro hormones. There are cases when you really shouldn't, um, or we try to, you know, tell you not to, and you still may. But we wanted to give some of those cases here today. Um, you know, again, we are not doctors. Even if you're taking pro hormones, you should always speak to your doctor first. We are just too fitness guys that uh, enjoy supplements and working out and uh, giving some <coughs> advice of our own. So, all right, top five reasons you shouldn't use pro-hormones. The number one reason is your woman. Um, we've brought this up many times mm -hmm. in live shows that, you know, pro-hormones can lead to not as strong as like steroids can, but some male um, characteristics, mm -hmm. which women, of course, don't want. It also disrupts, you know, the hormone balance in the body. Um, more common in women and can lead to things like irregular menstrual cycles and changes in libido. Um, so women really shouldn't take them, but we have women that do. And when when somebody's just hardcore about it, what do we usually recommend? Yeah, so, so normally we tell women stick with the natural muscle builders, yep. the uh, the turkosterones, laxogenins, epicatechins, yep. uh, but a lot of people insist they yes. absolutely want to take them. Um, and so it would be a 19 nor typically decabolin, and we normally say start at least start with uh, half a dose, yeah. one one tablet a day. Yeah, yeah, the decabolin or even the Ostaplex could right. probably work. That's pretty low dose on the uh, exactly. So if you if you are going to do it, those are the ones we recommend. But overall, as John said, you should just stick with the natural muscle builders. Number two, uh, you're a teenager. Teenagers already have high testosterone yes. levels and other growth hormones. Um, and you really don't want to be messing with your hormones in your body when no. you're still growing and developing anyway. The testosterone level is so high. Yeah, I'm so like, jealous. You but pro-hormone isn't going to come close to the natural testosterone you have no. in your body. So No, I mean, the older you get, the better that pro-hormones will work. You know, I'm 46, and I've noticed that, you know, I took them in my mid-30s, but they work so much better, you know, as I've gotten older. And it's just, it's, you know, as you get older, your natural test levels go down, so it does help more versus, yeah, teenagers. You so, just, we always kind of talk to people like 21 would probably be the absolute yeah. minimum. Really, probably not even until 25, and you're probably going to get the most out of it yeah. here in your 30s or 40s, exactly or 50s or above. Yep. Okay, next reason not to take pro hormones. You're too inexperienced. Um, and this, not as much as inexperienced at pro hormones, but we get so many people that are just starting to work out. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, I want to jump start it. I want to get on pro hormones right away. No, let's, let's not do that. You know, um, while you can get short term, get really good gains from it, um, you need to start out and kind of get your routine down. You know, you want to get your diet right, your food right. You want to get, you know, you can take supplements um, and get your, just your workout routine right and get in that, you know, that you're getting to the gym, you're eating well, your diet's on point. Get that down packed, and then you know, after a while, you can think about doing pro hormones. You know, the kind of two other reasons we didn't have on our, our list of five, but they kind of go along with the inexperienced thing. Uh, one, I would say, people who don't really plan on working out that much. They just oh, want to take yeah. a, a magic pill yep. to, to build muscle. If you're not working out at least three days a week, probably even more than that. Don't even bother. Yes. No, that's a good You're point. You're throwing your money away. Yep. And then secondly, a lot of times we talk about, when I talk to people who are kind of on the fence, maybe a little bit hesitant, haven't tried natural muscle builders, a lot of times I encourage people to try turkosterone or something before you yeah. hop into the pro hormone, see what that does for you. Yeah, and, and um, you know, and, and along with that is, you know, if you're, if you're new, get that baseline down because, I mean, if you take pro hormones or even like steroids, it's like, you're, you're gonna think you're gonna always want that, right. you know, especially if you're just starting out. And then when you're not on it, you're gonna feel bad. So get the baseline of just doing regular stuff first, and then maybe down the line. Okay, most of the people we talk to, they've been working out for years. They've kind of hit a plateau, yep. and they're looking for for something a little extra. Exactly. Uh, 
uh, you're not in good health. Uh, yeah. In unhealthy individuals, it can cause increases in blood pressure and cholesterol levels. Yeah. yeah. So I think we always tell people, especially if they're older or if they're not, if they're like, oh, I'm on this medication, I'm on this medication, talk to your doctor. You got a history of high blood pressure, yeah. Yeah. cholesterol. Yeah. There are more side effects associated with pro hormones than the natural muscle builders that are out there. So it's definitely something, you know, if you do have any medical condition, you are taking any type of prescription medication, then we always recommend you talk to your doctors. Don't listen to us. Lastly, um, big reason, we get lots of questions about this. You're an athlete and you're not allowed to. So pro-hormones are banned by a lot of athletic organizations, including the World Anti-Doping Agency and the International Olympic Committee. Um, testing positive for things, you know, if they're actually testing for pro-hormones or any type of those compounds, you can be suspended, disqualified, and it's just gonna tarnish your reputation overall. Yeah, I've talked to a lot of uh, either college students or guys who play like soccer in Europe, Europe who've been into our stores and they'll say they're limited to, they're told you can only buy this brand or you can only buy these three protein yep. powders. So uh, yeah, if, if, if you can't take protein powder, you certainly can't take uh, yeah. hormones. Yeah, I think it, like in the uh, uh, NCAA, I mean, it's like, I think some kind of caffeine's illegal for right. it. And I, I don't know if you can even take creatine. So it's definitely something before you jump on pro hormones, you can call us and talk to us, but we're not gonna know. You really need to talk to your governing body um, about what is allowed um, as you being an athlete and what isn't. So, so yeah, so those are our top five reasons why you should not take a pro hormone. So if you fit into any of those categories, you know how we feel. Um, if you don't and you still have questions, you know, John and I are always here to answer those. So you can post them down below, you can call us, chat with us. Mm -hmm. John was on for an hour with somebody today. Um, we don't like to be on with an Alan Coley, but, but we're here to help you. So, um, but otherwise, post those questions down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this and things like pro hormones, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time that we do a new video. Thanks for watching.